Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 33. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram, but hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, welcome to Test Drive. We're back in the open world. We're gonna go for some more clubs. I don't know what this was. Don't ask. <laughs> and I've spun out. That's karma for me sounding like a pleb. Not even joking. That's probably karma. Um, so what we're gonna be doing now is we are gonna be looking for the classic car club. We're on our way there now. There's the Ford dealership again. That dealership we've met hundreds of times in this walkthrough. And we just can't get away from it. That exact Ford dealership. I think no one can actually get away from it. Oh, shit. No, no. No, come on. Ah. Oh, this literally happened in the last clip that I recorded, but I deliberately pulled over then. This time I was getting away, and I've just been pulled over. That was all of that last race that I did in that last club gone. Money wasted. Uh, we are at 1.4 million points, which is going to go up big time when we start doing the uh, final races. We'll be at 2 million by the end of the series easily. Uh, here's a race that we've already done. I think that's... Oh, no, that's Hillsong. I thought we were near the tutorial area. Are we not? Maybe not. Okay. Okay. Right, but the uh, classic car club is just over the hill here. There you go, you can see it here. Now, let's see what kind of cars we have to use for this club. We might get a nice choice, actually. And if we do, I may have to upgrade one of them and then come back. So let's have a look and see what we've got. So we can take the Gullwing, the Corvette, or the Mura. Now, the Mura. Seems like the best option, but I really want to take the gold wing. Because we haven't driven that yet. Oh, it's a gold wing. But then it's a Mura. Okay, I'm going to go upgrade the gold wing and then I'll be back. Right, so we are here at the Classic Car Club. We've got ourselves our upgraded Mercedes Benz 300 SL gold wing. And we are looking at Chevrolets, Mercedes Benz, Shelby's. Corvettes, Aston Martins, and Lamborghini Murras. So we're going to do the same as what we did in the last club. We're going to go half and half. We're going to take the slower Mercedes, and then we're going to go to the Mura for the top three. So let's start with a Chevrolet Corvette C1 from 1957. This is an old car. 1957. I think that's 63 years old, this car that we're going against. And... Uh, I'm not a great fan of that car. I'm not sold on it yet. But we're here in this car. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look how nice this car looks. Okay. You've got to admit, this is a proper classic. Kahala! This is cool. And we're not super fast compared to the... Oh, crap. Compared to the other car, so... It's not too bad. I do like this car. Why do I like the look of this car? It just looks good. Look at that. I think it might have been stretched a little bit because of the um, game, slightly. We may have a little bit of stretching going on, which is why it probably looks a little bit better. Because I remember this car looking quite narrow and long. Turn right. Hang on. We're going to have to do it. <laughs> Look how long that is. That's just insane. Looking very good for our first race so far. The car isn't even too slow. Did 
This is definitely a nice car to drive in um, Gran Turismo. At the next intersection, it's one of those more rewarding cars. Because even though it's an older car, it's still quite rewarding to drive it. It's very good. Right, and here's the finish line. Very nice, we made it. Safe and sound. <laughs> I love how the AI car is just struggling to slide that thing. Very good though, 4,000 credits. Next race is going to be against a 500, uh, 300 SL again, so let's go. Awesome. Let's do this. Ah, it's a red one as well. And we're off. Very nice. Watch it. Why are we starting on oncoming traffic? You, no one in their right mind would ever drive a classic car in oncoming traffic. Just no. Gosh. Very nice. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. Oh, come on, get out of the way. Where are they? Just behind us. I'm trying to slide it, but this is actually quite difficult to slide around corners. At the next intersection, turn right. It isn't turn the right. uh, easiest of things. Imagine trying to wrestle a rhino. That's what it feels like. Except this is a beautiful rhino. Very nice though. I thought that said Hannah Senpai then. <laughs> I don't know why. I just did. Right, what is the next car? The final car that we're going to be driving in this. And it is the Shelby GT500. This one may be a little bit more of a challenge. But let's do it anyways. Let's go. Here Here we go, let's do this. And we're off. Very nice. I'm not even attempting to say that. But illy illy. I think. But illy illy. I don't know. <laughs> the names are a bit of a nightmare to try and uh, pronounce in this game. Especially the names of the places. It's just like, uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother. There's also that Ford dealership again. The dealership that we cannot escape the grass for. Go, go, go. Come on, nice. Bada bum 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 bada bum bada bada ba bada bum 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 Oh careful Try and keep it out of the grass if possible Diddle did 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 diddle did The music is so good for this game You can definitely tell it's from like the two thousand all PS2 games have the same sort of feel with their games, with their soundtracks. But uh, it's good soundtrack. It's very good. Uh, a game that I like the soundtrack of is Gran Turismo 4, because there's a couple of songs that I like on there. 
I know there's I Predict a Riot by Kaiser Chiefs, which is good. I'm pretty sure, anyways. Um, and also there is uh, a Queens of, Queens of Stone Age. Uh, Go With The Flow is on there. That's a good song. Check those up. Uh, but we're now going to drive the Lamborghini Miura for the last three events. Uh, first off is the Chevrolet Corvette Stingray 69. Haha. <laughs> Let's do this. See, a lot of people say, oh, obviously everyone has their own personal preference on what makes the game good. Um, I know some people, um, I've seen some people on Twitter say, oh, their favorite thing is handling mechanics, which is fair enough. If you want a good playing game, um, that's important. And for me, that is important. But I also feel like a more important feeling than just the handling is how the soundtrack is because the soundtrack can make a game as well handling is the most important definitely by no means the amount of content is important the quality of the content is important but the soundtrack is sort of up there in like the most important things in a racing game if you don't have a decent soundtrack people are not going to be remember your game as well Games that have better soundtracks, like for example, I mean Gran Turismo just uses real music, it's not too much, but Doom, okay that's not a racing game, but everyone remembers that game because of the music. BFG Division, if you guys haven't, right, watch Doom Eternal, or Doom whatever, with BFG Division music over it. Oh, it's amazing. One of the most visually and audibly, audibly amazing pieces of artwork ever. There we go, one minute 31. It's very good. If you wait for the music to stop, it actually goes into the loading screen much quicker. Saying that, that's just taken a while to go in anyways. Right, next up is the Astabine DB4 GT Zagato. I actually sold my one of them. Uh, so I can afford the McLaren F1. Kind of regretting it now. Because I didn't actually get to try that car out. But, oh well. All right, let's go. And we're off. Aston Mine left in the dust. Oh, me like, me like a lot. I mean, I still can't stress how much I absolutely love this game. It's ridiculous. Again, any of you have a PS2? I know many, many people out there have a PS2 lying around. Bring it out. Dust it off. Play some games on it. Trust me. I never owned a PS2. So I never played any of some of these games that I'm playing now. I'm playing them and enjoying them big time. Gran Turismo 4 especially. And it's just so much fun. So much fun. Right, final car is the Lamborghini Miura. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. I've been saying Miura for years. So if it's not Miura... I'll be kind of embarrassed. <laughs> right. Let's make sure to switch the lights on as well. So we've got some fancy cars. Nice. Four miles for this race as well. Uh, I don't think we've seen the interior of this car yet. It looks very nice. 
the interiors have surprised me in this game. Because you would... First of all, you wouldn't even expect interior cameras on these kind of games. First of all. And second of all, the interior cameras are fairly decent. Nice. This is really fun. <laughs> really, really fun. To be fair, this is one of the quickest series ever for me as well. Like, I haven't made videos this quick before. Every single day of recording this, right? I've had one day where I recorded two videos, maximum, and another day where I recorded no videos, and that was yesterday, because I had a day off, right? Every other day, I've made four videos a day. That's impressive, right? Uh, that's to sort of fill up the gaps between, because I've got videos until November, but obviously there are still gaps that need to be filled between and for the double uploads, for the sort of six o'clock uploads, I don't have many videos for that yet. So I'm trying to fill that in so I can at least keep double uploads a thing. Because um, once that starts slowing down, it's going back to single uploads. So if I can keep doubles, then I'll try and keep them. Um, so yeah, it's taken me very quick. Oh, oh no way! We just got ourselves a Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. Awesome. That's very nice. When we get um, we're not gonna buy any houses because the forum I read said you get all the houses at the end, so no point in buying one yet. Uh, because we're gonna buy one final car. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Which one? I don't know yet. But we're going to buy a car. Um, and then... The final thing should be houses. Right, but next... We are going to go to a new club. Which club shall we go to? We can go to Chevrolet Owners Club. I don't think I actually own a Chevrolet yet. So we'll have to sort that out later. Oh, Concept Owners Club. That's a good one. We might do that one now. We're going from old stuff to um, very fresh new stuff. Stuff that doesn't even exist. <laughs> stuff. Your itinerary is being recalculated. And it's pointing us the wrong way. Thank you, game. Turn the lights on, of course. Right, and we are here at the next club. Oh, slow down here. I've reached your destination. This is the Concept Owners Club. You would expect this to have some fancy club. Like they would have textured a really modern futuristic house. But no. And I don't like that already that the Chrysler Mi 412 is the top car. So uh, we're going to be starting off with the Shelby GR1 concept and then moving on to the Mi 412 then. Let's go. First off is the Chrysler Firepower concept car. Let's beat it. Just beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. Oh, that's a dead end. That's not fair. Oh, that's also a glass right next to me. And we're off. We haven't driven this concept in a while. Which is fair enough, because we did drive it for way too much for some videos. Actually, we didn't drive it a lot, apparently. Only 83 miles. I think it was the Aston Martin, and this was the car where I was like, no, we need to try and not drive it too much. Because the Aston Martin has 350 miles on its clock. Oh no, where's this corner? Where's this corner? Okay, there it is. That was an okay turn, actually. I will take that. 
I'm hoping that this club has the longer races. We'll do a drive like this. I don't even think this is like physically possible. You can see me how you have to turn in this game. You have to sort of like constantly counter steer while you're on straight. You can't get a straight line whatsoever. Yeah, no, that's not enjoyable to watch. I can guarantee you that won't be enjoyable for anyone to watch. So I will stick with this camera. <laughs> Oh, that's a good shout. We haven't checked the Chrysler's interior, have we? Might have to check that as well. Oh no, we've overshot it. You are driving in the wrong direction. Please turn around. There we go. We got airtime from that. From like 70 miles an hour. That means I could get airtime on a motorway. If I was going legal limit in Hawaii, I could go get airtime. That is if legal limit is 70 like it is in the UK. It's probably only like 55. Oh, there we go. And there we go, across the line. First place. Ta-da! That was very good. Was that the first race? I think it was. I forget a lot of things. I should write everything down that I've done in the day, so I remember everything. Right, next up is the Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione. Now, I'm surprised because that car is not a concept car. That is a real car, so that's that's caught me off guard. Okay, I'm not taking that. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna ring up Atari, realize that they're not a company anymore, and be like, "Oh, this is false in your game." Though I bet you someone did do that as well. It wasn't a concept car back in the day, was it? I'm pretty sure it was a real thing. They made it a real thing, and then they made the 4C afterwards. Because the 8C did so well. And then they made the dinky little 4C. Which was really nice. I wouldn't want to own an Alfa Romeo 4C, because if you look at the car on the interior, it's actually got, like, the cheapest stuff in it. Oh, come on. Get back on the road. Thank you. I know the Alfa Romeo Giulia is a very nice looking car on the inside. Very luxurious. Not quite like an Aston Martin DB11 though. I've been in one of them. Ah, no. Careful. Alright. Well, we're cutting corners. <laughs> I just completely missed the junction. Nice. Nice. This is the fastest of the cars that we've driven today, I think. Nice. Concept Owners Club. 1 minute 55 for that one. Very nice. And the audio glitch again. It's like a weird glitch and it just like takes forever for the game to load then. 
Right, so next up is the Ford Shelby GR1 concept. This is an identical car to what we're driving. So let's go and do it. Very nice. Right, let's go. And we're off. Come on, come on. Nice. We've got to make sure we at least beat the car that we're in. Otherwise, that would be slightly embarrassing to uh, try and explain. Oh, yeah. Why did you lose? You're in an upgrade version of your own car. Oh, crap. Oh, no way. That corner was tricky, apparently. Both cars couldn't take it. Wow. I thought that was just me messing up, but no, the AI car messed up too. Or maybe me spinning out messed him up. Ah, who cares? I'm in the lead, that's all that matters. I'm also very surprised that I didn't um, go off the road and get off-road penalties. That is, that is surprising. At the next turn right. Oh, no. Alan. No! Alan with two L's, get back. Who spells Alan with two L's? It's a straight line dash to the finish! No! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> How am I gonna explain that? <laughs> 0 0.2 seconds exactly slower. I mentioned it earlier as well. I said earlier it was going to happen. Ah, I jinxed it. Alright, let's go. The, that car doesn't have the stripe on it, but we've got the stripe. To be honest, I prefer the look of Fords with stripes. If you go and play Gran Turismo, but you buy a Ford GT, oh shit. But you take the option where you have no strikes, you need help. I'm going to lose this again. If we spin out on that same corner again. Right, both of us didn't spin out, and I am catching up because I'm in the quicker car. I just didn't have Ooh. <laughs> enough of a run-up. Bye-bye, Alan. Serves you right. Frick. <laughs> just blatant aggression. Frick. It was that corner as well. Somehow I messed that up. I think I spun out, didn't I? Oh well, I'm not letting this car ruin my chances again. Show off. <laughs> 1 minute 25.671, that was after not spinning out twice. I'll take that. Thank you, Alan, for uh, the little love tap at the end. Thank you very much. Right, uh, we are now going to swap to the Chrysler Mi 412. This thing is overpowered as hell, and we're going to be driving against the Ford Shelby Cobra concept. Let's do this. Very nice. And let's go. And we're off. What's the interior of this car like? Oh. Jeez, I'm actually surprised by that. I'm really surprised by that. 
I don't like that camera angle either. <laughs> We're going back to normal. Ah, come on, come on. Thank you. This sort of sounds like uh, a song that Benny Benassi would make back in the day. Do you remember like his 2001 album where he made that song Satisfaction? That became an internet meme of like the 2000s. Gosh, that makes me old. To be fair, that song's older than me, but like still makes me feel old. Okay, get back on the road, thank you. Very nice. And across the line, come on. Perfect. That was a very good race. One minute and some ink. Let's go on to the next one. Awesome. Right, next up is the Volkswagen W12 Coupe. Let's go. Right, let's go. And we're off. Only two miles for this one. Wow, these races are short. I really hope that final one with the concept car is going to be quick. With uh, the same car as this. Ah, careful, come on. I make weird noises when I feel like I'm about to crash. I don't know why I do it either. It's just a habit. Oof. I also say the word oof a lot. When I crash. Big oof. Oh, no, 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 no. No, not funny. Hey! That saved me. That's impressive. I would not have got a, a decent... I would have been like penalties with that if I had a crash like that. Ah, unbelievable. That was crazy. There we go. I was like, why, why is it not loading? And then I forgot that it, it takes forever to load. Right, next up... Chrysler Mi 412. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Chrysler v Chrysler. And we're off. And I'm going to be a sneaky bugger and I'm going to go on the correct side of the road. 5.3 miles we got for this. Let's do this. Oh, the other car's actually gotten a head start for this now. Because of me going on the other side of the road. But they did crash, so that's surprising. Oh, not great. This might take me a couple of attempts. I hope it doesn't, but I know it probably will. Oh, never mind. I was smart. Now, I bet you if the AI car carried on that road... Oh, actually, he couldn't. Because he would have gotten stuck. Oh, but he could have. Because he could have come down here then. I actually would have had a much shorter journey. So, um... I mean, we benefited big time there. Oh, no, 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 no. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> no!
What the hell just happened? You gotta be joking. No way. Oh, we gotta redo that again. I'm gonna do the same tactic where I jump off onto the um, correct side of the road. And the AI car's already crashed again. Brilliant. Right, we're going to have to watch out for that corner again, because otherwise we'll get flung into the air miles, miles up. Stay away from the right-hand side. Oh, come on. A little bit too close to the edge of that. Okay, so the road goes down here. And then it goes down here again somewhere. Just here. And then we have this corner coming up at some point. Somewhere. Where is it? Here it is. Stay away from the edge. Stay away from the edge. Do not do it again. No! <laughs> I saw the car going up. At the next turn right. We also got stuck in that middle bit, so there was no way of getting out. There was no way I could have saved us from avoiding that penalty. There's the island. Hawaii. Oh, not great. There we go. Very nice. I am disgusted by my performance <laughs> today. <laughs> All right. Next vehicle upgrade is free. Awesome. It would have been nice out of the concept owners club to get another concept car that was locked. Um, but the game thinks otherwise. Or the game devs. But. There we go. We are now the proud president of the Concept Owners Club. Very good. I think we got. Um, 5.5 .5 miles to the next event. I think we've got uh, four more clubs that I'm going to do today. And then I don't know if I'm going to do a couple of events as well. But we'll see. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.